Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Malvi Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are available at LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below. And also, I have segregated all the videos in my channel into 5 playlists which are easy, medium, hard and all the premium questions of the LeetCode platform and also all questions ordered in sequence wise into their respective playlists. Let's dive into the question which we are going to solve today. It is list the products ordered in a period. Question number 1327 type easy. Let's see the question. Here you can see it is also already asked in Amazon. They are given a schema table of products which is consisting of product ID, product name, product category which is describing a product. Okay. And they have said that it is the primary key for this table. Okay. And there is another thing orders table which is consisting of product ID, order date and unit and they have said that there is no primary key for this table and it may have duplicate also but you can see that it is acting as a foreign key to the product key so this table is joined to this table using product id where here it is primary key and here it is foreign key okay what they are saying is write an sql query to get the name of products that have at least 100 units ordered okay first condition at least 100 units should be sold second condition it should be from february 2020 okay Return the result table in any order. Let's see the table. Okay, here you can see in the output table they have taken only product name and unit name which are having greater than 100 means greater than or equal to 100 and should be from which condition they mentioned February 2020 they should be from Feb 2020 let's see how to do that first of all we can do inner join of these two tables using product ID, product ID. We can see that lead code solutions is available here, here, okay. And the jewels of string, uh, stringology is available here and here. HP here, Lenovo, and lead code kid, right. Let's see it. After that, what is the second condition? They should be from February 2020. Let's see that condition also. The first condition it is from 2020 02 only it is satisfying it is satisfying here it is not satisfying because it is from january 1st here it is not satisfying here it is not satisfying yeah it is satisfying in the sports conditions because it is 2020 february only here satisfying satis here again it is not satisfying because it is from march here also it is march 2020 not satisfying here also it is march it is not satisfying uh it is February here it is okay and the last one also it's March it is not satisfying so we need to delete these rows it are not required let's see for the lead code solutions it is having two products right what are the sum of products 60 and 70 so the sum of products for lead code solutions which are having from February 2020 are 130 Okay, jewels of stringology book, only one row is there which is 80, okay, HP, 3 rows is there, 2 plus 3, 5, okay, Lenovo, Lenovo nothing is there here, 
so it is 0. Lenovo kit, 2 rows are there, 50 plus 50, 100. Okay, so this is first 2, 3, 4, and 5. But they have also asked the third condition. What is that? It should be greater than equal to 100. So from this rows, you can see this is satisfied, this is not satisfied, this is not satisfied, this is satisfied. Okay, and fun. 5 rows are satisfied. If you see 1 lead code, lead code and the sum respect to is 130 and again 5 which is the answer we got here, lead code kid and answer as 100 we got here. Clear? So let's write the code for that right now. First thing what we need to do, we need to join these two tables. On which condition product ID equal to B dot product ID okay and what is the next condition it should be from month of order date should be February so February is the second month, so I'm keeping two. And what is the second condition? Year of order date should be 2020. Okay. We have joined these two tables. We we got the mega table. After that, we are filtering only for what? Only February 2020. And now what we need to do is we need to group by product. Product ID, okay, and we need to calculate what? Let's see the uh, output table. Yeah, we want only product name. Here, product ID or product name, both are same because we can do just group by one thing because each is unique for each product ID. Product name, or you can just simply keep it like this here. Both are same, okay. Comma sum of uh, what is the sum they are doing? Yeah, sum should be unit column. Okay, first condition we satisfied. We are grouped by and we calculate the sum of things. And the third thing is it should be at least 100. We are doing after grouping these things. So we are keeping in having. If you have not grouped it, we should have kept it in where. Having sum of unit greater than equal to 100. Let's run it. Uh, where is this? product ID okay there are two product ID so we'll give a dot product ID yeah it got accepted let's submit it okay our test case has been accepted I will explain it once once again I have joined these two tables using this uh, common column which is product ID after that, I have filtered for only February 2020. Okay. Here you can see we have filtered. After that, what I have done is I grouped by this product ID and have taken the product name and their respect to sums. Grouped by their columns, taken the column name and the sum of units. Okay. Here you can see it here. And later, we want only for where the sum is greater than 100 only. So I kept in the having condition and I executed it. Okay. I think it is clear. Thanks for watching. If you want de more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your study partner. Make sure you are disciplined and be completed all the playlists and try to achieve your dream as fast as possible.